everybody and welcome to Homeschool Quick Tips. I'm Dr. Georgia Rupertum. This is Dr. Jennifer Rivera and we are two moms with a lot of homeschool experience who also work as part of the team here at Answers in Genesis that helps develop the programming and resources for the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. So the purpose of this program is to help you know how to use those programs and resources and so much more that Answers in Genesis has to offer in your homeschool. So today we're going to be talking about our Explore Days, our Explore Junior Days, and our Explore Camp. So I'm going to throw this to Dr. Rivera because she is the one that has conceived of this and put all of this together to talk more about it. Yeah, so our Explore Days is designed for our homeschool students, uh, and we actually have over 10 different scientific disciplines, uh, so we have many different topics in our Explore Day program. And our Explore Days is designed for students in the 6th through 12th grade, so we do gear that curriculum for them. In a typical Explore Day, students will get around four hands-on sessions that are interactive. They're going to be doing experimentation, they're going to be uh, interpreting models and doing different dissections, uh, just depending on which topic we're covering that day. And we also have our Explore Junior program, which we're just expanding this year. Uh, this is for our kids in K through fifth grade. Uh, a parent is required to come with them, and we just have an awesome day planned for our younger students as well. Now we also have Explore Camps. Right. I'm really excited. We've already scheduled our dates. Uh, and Explore Camp is a five-day program where we have a different science topic every single day. So kids will cover five different science disciplines uh, during those five days. And once again, you're going to get around 20 different hands-on sessions, uh, experimentation, scavenger hunts that are educational, as well as many of our special speakers that we do have here at the Creation Museum. We also have a three-day forensic science camp, which is my one of my favorites I have to say <laughs> of course. Uh, as a forensic scientist but in our three-day forensics camp we'll also cover all the different forensic disciplines as well as have an awesome case study that the students get to solve fun. on the last day of camp which is definitely has been one of the highlights for the last couple years so we did we are joined today by Debbie Dean uh, she is one of our parents uh, and her sons Jacob and Caleb have come to I think almost every single explore day that we <laughs> offer almost uh, and so first we just wanted to talk to Debbie and just ask her some questions as a parent so Debbie there are lots of museums in our area there's lots of other educational programs that you could choose for your children. Uh, but why do you uh, choose to send them here to so many of our educational programs? My husband and I choose to send our children to these programs because it's phenomenal to see the, um, the science they get behind. That's, um, they get experience, they get opportunities that I couldn't offer at home, of course. And then there's um, the other aspect is the biblical aspect. Mm -hmm. It's Yep. It's amazing to see how much um, science confirms the Bible, and I love that the kids get to see the reality of that. So. Now, your kids have also come to the camps, all right? <laughs> what were some of their favorite memories of camp or some of their favorite experiments that they came home and told you about? I believe, let's see, the ones that I can remember are the cow's eyes, when they got to dissect cow's <laughs> eyes. Oh, that one is so much fun. Was, yeah, that was, <laughs> probably uh. <laughs> that was fun to hear about. And the, the forensics case studies that they've d mm -hmm. gotten to do. And I think that that was fun for them because it sounds like they got to do um, like a real life, almost like a real life mm -hmm. case yes. with mm -hmm. real, the real things that they get to use in case studies, not the pretend things. So I thought that was really neat, the opportunities with that. And yeah, I think just, and then just meeting other friends as mm -hmm. well. That's, you know, they've made some good friends through the program as well. I would like to say we always use the real equipment uh, in all of our programs. Uh, we use real dissection materials and, you know, especially in forensics, we're using real equipment uh, that, you know, would be very hard for you right. to replicate at home. All right, so Jacob and Caleb, right, you have, as you can see in our Explore Day program, we do give a pen of completion for all the different science topics that we do offer here. So every theme has a different pen. So you can see they've come to many of them as well as our Explore camps. So uh, having participated in the Explore program as well as our camps, uh, you want to just tell us just a little bit about your favorite activities that we've done. All right, and uh, Caleb, we're going to let you go first, and then we'll let Jacob talk. Well, um, one of my favorite Explore Days is zoology, mm -hmm. and that is where you get to learn about animals, and you get to make some fun stuff for the animals to play around with, and mm -hmm. yeah, I really enjoy that. It's fun. And also forensics, that is one of my favorites, too. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say forensics is one of my favorites also. Uh, getting to do fingerprints, finding it on glasses, 
and then also getting to do um, a DNA test where we figure out which criminal's DNA was put on this um, cracker, basically. So that's really fun. And then I also enjoy dinosaurs where we get to learn about dinosaurs with Buddy Davis and get a, sometimes we get a dig for fossils in a fossil graveyard. So that's really fun. Mm. Well, awesome. So I just like to say that, you know, regardless of which scientific discipline right. we're covering, every single one of them is presented from, you know, a biblical worldview. Right. And that goal is just intertwined all throughout mm -hmm. the entire program. So it, it, even if you're just studying physical science or right. if you're studying earth science or forensic science, right? Every single one of them uh, points back to our creator God because we want to give him the honor and glory right. for this program. And that's one of the things I know I've enjoyed um, when we do our genetics one. I've done come down for a Q&A uh, during lunchtime, and I'm always amazed at the um, really good questions I get from students. They're really thinking about um, these things and how it even applies to life and the culture that we live in today. And so it's always uh, fun to do those. So hopefully you've learned a little bit. This is just a, a small fraction of um, what goes on in these programs, and we get um, such good response to these. So when you um, go to the website, if you go to the Creation Museum website and click on the education tab on the front page, it will take you to the area where you need to go for Explore and Explore Junior. We do encourage you to register early um, because we tend to sell out our programs. And so you want to make sure that you're a part of that. And we'll have the, we have the calendar listing up for this year. And we're even doing some really cool things um, like doing some outside um, at parks. And um, we're doing one at the Ark this year. So there's lots of some different ones that we're adding usually all the time so you want to keep checking back and why don't you talk just a little bit too about that we're on a cycle with these so if yes. you do one one year it's different the next year yes yeah, so under every single explore day science topic you're going to see at the very bottom of the that web page a four-year rotating calendar uh, so we do go through a, a new year every year so we're actually on year three this year uh, but it's always going to be posted on the explore day homepage or the explore junior homepage which year rotation that we're on so explore junior is on a two-year rotation and Explore Days is on a four-year rotation so that the kids can come four years in a row and get brand new curriculum right. in every single science topic, uh, you know, just to learn new concepts every single year. So. Yeah, and so that's what makes it really, really nice. So you can keep coming over and over again mm -hmm. and get something new. Um, and as they get older, too, they're going to appreciate more what they're learning and get it at a different level. And so that's really exciting. So that's all we have for today. We hope that you'll go to the Creation Museum website and check out Explore and Explore Junior and our Explore Camps.